first ingredient we use for flux painting, of course, is our superconductor. So this just looks like a plain ceramic before we cool it down. Next, we put spacers on top, and this is only because we wish to have the magnet levitating once it's flux pinned. This is to give a more dramatic effect. And so here is our permanent magnet. And finally, we want to cool down the superconductor to its critical temperature, and we use our liquid nitrogen for this. In order for us to know that the superconductor is below its critical temperature is when we can see that the liquid nitrogen stops boiling. And this, this shows that both the superconductor and the liquid nitrogen are at thermal equilibrium. So as you can see, there's still some slight boiling, and in a small amount of time, this will effectively stop, and we will know that flux spinning has occurred. And so we just knock these spacers out. We can see that the magnet now floats, and this is flux spinning.